If you put to one side the leaking of customer confidentiality, which we probably all agree was egregious, I think the one thing we've learned from all of this is how to whip up a populist storm. Because at the heart of this is the choice by one private bank to say no to one customer who they decided was costing them too much and wasn't bringing them in enough money. They offered him another high street bank like 95% of the population use and that wasn't good enough. And he made it. Farage made it an argument about free speech, about liberty, about censorship when it wasn't. No one was shutting him down. No one was stopping him from banking. No one was calling him names. They simply waited until he paid off a mortgage, having decided ahead of time that they would call it quits at that point. And this isn't a public utility. It's not electricity. It's a posh private bank. It's in the name. Yet the power of the populist somehow is to turn utter entitlement into victimhood. And that is quite the move. The News Agents. This is a Global Player original podcast. 